Today we're going to show you houses in Parish, Florida, talk about the city and give you a market update. So let's start with the first home in this beautiful, quiet neighborhood. Got some sidewalks on one side of the street. Pretty big yards. Yes. And it is suburban, almost feels like a gated community, but it's not gated. It definitely is planned. It does have dead restrictions though. Right away when you walk in. I like the color of the door, that's fun. And it's beautiful. Yeah, I like those chairs they got, that's a nice touch. We'll get to those in a second, but right away when you come in on the left, they got like a little den area here, which you, know, you could use this a lot of different ways, I guess, dining room or I like office. It's nice and open too, it's not closed off, so you can have it as a nice touch. That's another living area. With that arched window and then look how low this window goes. It's almost to the ground level. That's definitely different. And this is a four bed, two bath, 1,570 square feet home. It was built in 2001 and it has been on the market 35 days as of the filming of this video. It is listed for $475,000. Pantry. A nice kitchen. Let's see if that's oh that's really nice and big. Wow. Yeah. Surprising. A lot bigger than what I thought. I mean, yeah, there's actually some room to like actually step in here and it's a walk-in pantry, kind of. It's a small walk-in. It's a walk-in. It's a nice kitchen yeah. too. Yeah. All the colors are nice. The sparkling countertops. Updated handles. Little dining nook. There's a lot of windows in here too. Like this whole wall and then this one. I mean, any open space, instead of just having a wall, there's windows, which is, I think, pretty cool. Awesome chairs. I really like those chairs. wonder if those come with the house. <laughs> they almost look like they're like little hammocks or something, or like, I don't know how to explain them. So I guess let's go back here. There's a bedroom. The primary, primary bedroom. bedroom. Nice. A lot of extra space here. It's really big, too. I really like the color scheme they got going with the whole house and all that. Yeah, very co very coastal and modern. That's a fun light. Actually, I want to see what it looks color. like turned on. Oh, that's kind of cool. The colors look different with the lights on. And wow. Yeah, you're right. That is a walk-in. It's a full walk-in. Pretty big. Mm -hmm. And bathroom with a pocket door. Nice pocket door for the win. Could have probably squeezed a double vanity in there, but then you would have lost a lot of counter space. So I think that was probably a good move. Yeah. It's really nice. And really, I mean, how often do, you know, if husband, wife both need the sink at the same time? I don't know. Leave us a comment and let us know. And also, as always, if you are looking to buy or sell a home anywhere in Florida, we will have a link in the description to help you get connected with a vetted realtor in Parrish or anywhere else in Florida. This is nice. It's like a, another den. Yeah, with like the, the doors, door. you're right. Doors. That's different. Mm -hmm. I really like these big windows that go all the way to the floor too. That's a really nice touch. Yeah. Like this house is all about that window space like, like on the walls here too with the closet yeah you cut the closet in half and now you have a little room for a vanity yeah. or an office yeah it's unique and a i think a good use of the space mm -hmm. so second bathroom whole extra wing over here kind of makes the house sneaky big but all the bedrooms are on the same side but they don't feel too close together Oh, I like that lamp. Ceiling light. Oh, yeah, that's fun. I like what they did in this house. It's really nice. Mm hmm. It's kind of beachy, but a little bit farmhousey almost. Boho. And modern. And we've got a closet here. Seems like it'll be an actual closet. Oh, wow, pretty big. Lots of storage. Laundry room. 
And there's one more bedroom just to my left. Ooh, it's an automatic light. Motion sensor, that's pretty cool. Oh, that's cool. And the garage through here. Which, oh, another motion sensor light. Wow, there's a little closet here. That's interesting. <laughs> I'm not sure what that's about. And water heaters out here, your air handler. Nice. And... Yep, that's what I was looking for. They do got a sprinkler system. So that's cool to have in-ground built-in sprinkler system. And actually, this wall here juts in. So you got extra storage space built in. So you, it seems like you can get two cars in here and then still have this space for all your storage. And the closet as well. Right, yeah. S storage on top of storage. Yeah. The last bedroom, it's a little smaller than the other two, but still a good size. And again, pretty big window. That one doesn't go quite to the ground like the other ones, but nice. Very, very good. Check out that backyard area. Did you get a sneak peek? Of the backyard oh I, did, I didn't even see that <laughs> let us know in the comments if you saw what was in the back before look at this yeah with all the blinds and stuff shut you wow. couldn't really see all this yeah lots of space here overhang area with shade fan as you can see plenty of room for seating plus all this space here side access door and the pool huge with this beautiful view yeah being right by the water that's awesome yeah hot tub too and yeah they got some nice little landscaping around it as well yeah this is really nice yeah gorgeous cool it's really big too shall we go to the next one let's do it house number two actually in the same neighborhood like the big oak tree though that's a nice touch and they got a nice little front entryway here. We're gonna tell you a little bit about Parrish and give you your market update. But here's the thing, I couldn't get data for Parrish, not a city that's even coming up. So instead of doing the county, cause that kind of puts things out of context, I just did the zip code we're in for both these houses. So because of that, I also was not able to get you inventory data, but I can get you median sale price. And I will also be giving you the sale to list ratio. I like this I room. I like this room, yeah. And look at the ceiling. Mm -hmm. it's, it's got almost, almost like a different texture. cabin type feel. Mm -hmm. And the flooring adds to that, but it's actually tile. It's yeah. wood looking tile and it actually looks like wood. It looks like very distressed wood. Looks really cool. And it looks pretty real. And like a lot of times the tile doesn't look real. Yeah, the arches too are pretty cool. Or it doesn't look like real wood, I should say. Yeah, the cutouts. And in this neighborhood, we're on the edge of uh, Bradenton. So that helps a little bit yeah. too with the data. We're about, on the map, I think it said like nine miles from Parrish, which would be probably like, you know, the downtown of Parrish, which, ooh, that's Small interesting. Room. And this is pretty cool. So you get another door here oh. to go to the rest of the house, which we'll show you in a little bit. That's fun. <laughs> and the garage. Ooh. Okay, you can't see it, but... Oh, they got some cabinets on the back right there, and yeah, all the shelving here, yeah. too. That's nice. And then, oh, the, yeah, they must have moved... They have oh, washer-dryer yeah. hookups out here, too. Yeah, That's they probably moved it in, hmm. into the house. And your air handler is out there. So you're in this zip code, which is part of Parish. The median sale price is 440000 which is actually a little higher than I would have thought. But it could be because you are a little closer to Bradenton, which also puts you closer to Lakewood Ranch. And, and there's a lot of new construction going on here in Parish as well. Yeah, especially on this end, you know, towards Bradenton and Lakewood Ranch and all that area. Shelves, you probably like that. I like this whole house. There's a lot of character and unique spaces, and they're big spaces though too. The kitchen's really nice too. And so your average sale to list ratio is 98.8%. So not as good of deals to be had probably as, as compared to like some of the other cities we've done recently, but still you can probably get something for a little under asking. So we'll go this way first. 
And yeah, Parrish is an interesting area because it's, it was a, basically like a really, really, really small town. But as Bradenton and Lakewood Ranch and Sarasota grew, it kind of became this new hotspot for new construction, you know, HOA communities at affordable prices. Two years of under room again. And it, you could get something a little cheaper than, let's say, of course, Lakewood Ranch or like Sarasota. And a lot of the HOA communities are low HOA communities. Um, and there's also a lot without, a lot of homes without HOAs. Yeah. Tons of new construction going in this area though. And I, I don't, I'm not sure how representative the median sale price that I gave you for here is of all of Parish, but it does seem like it would, it's sitting on the higher end of what I would have expected anyways. This is interesting with the cutout here. Yeah. It's a bedroom, but it almost kind of takes away privacy. You know what? Mm -hmm. See these closets? But it's nice. Pretty big closet. The floor looks pretty new too. It's again that wood look tile. Mm -hmm. Closet here too. I like that this is an open area too. Yeah, I'm kind of trying to figure out what this room is supposed to be for. It almost seems like a dining room. Or like a Just the family, family room. room. Go to so what two bedrooms on that side, okay. Yes. And then primary probably over here. This is a three bed, two bath, two thousand and eighty four square foot home. It is listed at four hundred and forty nine thousand nine hundred and it did have a price cut um, from four fifty nine nine to four forty nine nine. It's a really big primary bedroom. The house as a whole for a three bedroom, I mean yeah, you got all those house. extra like family room and den spaces, which is nice. It gives you a little flexibility too. You could maybe even convert one into like a closed off, you know, office or bedroom. Guest room. Wow. And Holy cow. The HOA. Look at all this extra this corner here. The HOA in this neighborhood is $72 a month. This is crazy big, like sneaky big because of this like extra like indentation area there. The closet. I like the texture ceilings. I've never seen that before. Yeah, they're a little different. It almost seems like waves or something. Mm -hmm. Double vanities, a little more dated in, the, in this bathroom actually than the rest of the house. But a really big walk-in shower area. I like the color on that one too. It's kind of that classic some little sandstone type color. It's a big closet. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean, there's a lot of room to spare in here too. I mean, you can see they got a little seat there. They got some little end tables and yeah, lots of space. This is a really, really big house. And I like how they use almost all the space, really. Yeah. Got a little dining room here. Let's go outside. Oh, I like this floor. Mm -hmm. Oh, this is really cool. You got like a dedicated lanai by this pool. Yeah, it's big. Holy cow. And actually, yeah, this is really, really cool because it almost feels like you're... Uh, Inside? Like in a lagoon out, out here with... Oh, look, those are sliders, huh? Yeah. Sco feels like you're inside and outside at the same time. Yeah, double sliders, screen doors, and then, yeah, this pool area with this the palm trees and, cool. and, and the brick makes it feel like more like a lagoon or something. Yeah. A pretty cool pool. Bunch of extra bricked area here too yet that you could put chairs or something. That's interesting. And fenced off, but you do have an, a door there that you can get to the rest of the house. This is really nice. I like it. Yeah, I like the style of it. It's very different. Yeah. It feels more like natural. Yeah. If you're looking to buy or sell a home in Florida, make sure to check out the link in the description box below. We'll put you in contact with a vetted realtor in your area. And if you want to see more Florida homes for sale, check out this video right here. To catch the news, home tours, market updates, and tours of cities, make sure to subscribe and turn on all notifications. To see some more home tours, check out this video right here or this video right here. We'll see you in one of these videos next.